Edith Wong is the Chief Marketing Officer at Invest Hong Kong, a position she has been occupying since 2019. She is responsible for marketing communication strategies. How has the communication strategy of Invest Hong Kong evolved over time? Well, in the past, we relied quite heavily on print publication as well as advertising to reach out to the target audience. As you can imagine, over the years, we have evolved and relied more on digital communications and social media to reach out to our target audience, meaning investors from overseas or mainland China uh, who have plans to set up in Hong Kong. In view of the COVID-19, our communication strategy has changed even more dramatically. Because physical events can no longer be held, we are now organizing a series of webinars to share information with our clients, especially around business support measures, how they can survive this crisis. And we share the recordings of the webinars on our website in case they miss our online events. So on a daily basis, we have to think which marketing strategies are working, which work less well, and then we remain very agile and resilient and adapt our strategies accordingly. What changes do you envisage in the near future? Well, of course, uh, I think um, the new normal brought about by this pandemic is going to stay a while in the next uh, two or three years. And of course, we all agree that this pandemic has further accelerated um, the digital transformation. So definitely we will foresee, uh, we'll use uh, more digital channels to reach out to our target audience. Say for example, our annual Start Me Up Festival, it used to be a physical event, but now it has gone all virtual. So that will be held in the week of early July. So I welcome all of you to take a look at the website, get some uh, learnings and insights from entrepreneurs and experts. Do you tend to adopt an integrated marketing communication strategy across the board or do you apply any audience segmentation? For instance, is there any difference between mainland and overseas audiences or between industries in your communication strategy? Well, definitely. Actually, I would say both. We adopt both an integrated marketing approach as well as um, a sector-specific approach. Let me explain more. In, in terms of integrated marketing, my goal is actually to oversee all teams what they are doing and bring them together to bring out the core message that Hong Kong is the ideal place for businesses. So for example, if the marketing team has launched a new website around uh, Hong Kong as a private wealth management hub, the PR would also follow up and see if we could do more, uh, a little bit of media interviews with uh, some stakeholders to amplify um, the message. So in that sense, it's integrated marketing. We make sure our website, social media, print publications, they all spread the same message and they cross promote and amplify one another. But at the same time, we also adopt a set specific approach. Say for example, if we are promoting financial technology, what we call FinTech, or we are promoting financial services or maritime, they all have their own specific group of clients or customers. So we will adapt the creative to make sure they resonate with this group of audience. So I would say both approaches can coexist and actually we, we apply both uh, mentalities into our communication strategy. In your opinion, what are the newly emerging target markets and industry sectors for Invest Hong Kong? Well, in terms of sectors, as you can see, partly because of this COVID-19, some sectors actually so-called winning and actually gaining more businesses. Say, for example, educational technology, ed tech, cloud computing, AI, robotics, healthcare, as well as e-commerce. So we see these um, industries are going to, to gain more share in businesses in, in, in the future, in the next few years. And of course, um, industries that are related to innovation and technology would be very optimistic. And in terms of markets, we, we definitely believe in the growth potential of ASEAN. And uh, because of the demographics and the adoption of digitalization, we see more US or European companies coming to this part of the world to grow and expand their business. 
What are the challenges and opportunities Hong Kong faces as a destination for foreign and mainland investment? Well, of course, um, the pandemic has affected uh, the global economy and Hong Kong is no exception. The landscape of foreign direct investment uh, will be difficult and different from previous years. But we believe in Hong Kong's strong fundamentals. These include uh, one country, two systems, the rule of law, free flow of information and capital, as well as a strong talent pool. Also, because of the National Belt and Road Initiative, as well as the integration with the Greater Bay Area, we believe Hong Kong is really the place to be for overseas and mainland businesses, hoping to further grow their businesses. Thank you very much for your time.